Namaste and welcome to Online Trade Academy Trading Series. My name is Derek Zalek and I'm the Senior Instructor for Online Trading Academy. Today I'd like to take you through a series of Fibonacci retracement lines. Many students, many people ask me, Derek, do you use them? Is there a way to really use them in a, in a proper way and when should I use them? So let me show you, first of all, what is Fibonacci? It's basically a measure of price movement between low and high or high and low and then measuring of the retracement of that prior move. So let's just take an example. If price does adjust, say I have a pivot point, price sells off and then it runs up again. I have here a what is called a supply level so therefore I'm expecting for a drop in price. I can simply just measure the cycle distance which is basically a hundred percent cycle between this low and that particular high and now I will ask myself okay if I am expecting some selling pressure due to the prior supply which was right here right so if this was a supply level I am thinking sellers are likely to come in to basically sell their shares well if that is the case my next question is well how much of that selling am I expecting and my immediate answer in response to this I am looking for 38 percent retracement from the prior prior cycle move. Uh, why do I say this? Because market usually provides this eight times out of 10. So if it gives me eight times out of 10, well, I can uh, pretty much project that that's what's going to happen. So typically, we will get a 38% retracement, we will get a 50, and then of course, a 61% percent retracement. Now, I am rounding up these numbers. It's actually 38.2 and then 61.8 and half, which is just a half mark. It's not really a Fibonacci sequence number. But all I know at this point that if I decide to sell short, price typically it's going to drop to that minimum 38. If this is a primary move and it's likely to resume, typically it's not going to sell more than 38 and most likely price can continue farther in a in a continuation of the primary move. Uh, if it happens to be as a reversal, well, very often they'll try to uh, pull back uh, more deeper in price, right? So let's go right into charts and let me show you some examples how to use that incredible tool to spot turning points in the market. Okay, so we are here. Let's demonstrate the Fibonacci concept that I have just showed you guys on the board. So let's uh, put something here in example. And of course, you have to use this in a context of price chart, right? So here, uh, when you are trading, I'm going to provide some support levels, okay, for the markets. So this is a first uh, support I, I can note, identify here on the market. So I'll just uh, plot one right here. Here, of course, we'll have the second one, and the farther away, we're going to have the third line. So when market is uh, pulling down to some support levels, like in this case, now you have to start thinking, well, perhaps uh, I'm going to get reversal. Well, if that is the case, I'm here on a nifty chart, by the way, uh, I'm going to basically plot from pivot high to pivot low where I think that reversal is about to take place. So therefore, I'm just going to basically anchor these points. And so what will happen is I'm going to get uh, a basically a retracement points where the market should retrace. So in this case, we're thinking market should go from this 5400 level to all the way minimum 38% retracement, which would call it for 5627. Okay, that would be our that would be our uh, initial uh, retrace. Okay. Uh, yes, price did uh, actually. Let me just uh, actually price actually did pull back a little bit. So perhaps it got right into our uh, our low point, and therefore when we measure it, we're looking right for that 38% retracement. So as price comes into this 38% retracement, you got to start thinking. Well, maybe this is a point where I have to start exiting my position, and as you can see, basically price farther pushes down. Now on the second one, okay, if we have a second level of the support right here, and I'm thinking I should also create a Fibonacci series. Now in this case, I'm also using from the same point uh, high, and the reason is because price have not crossed through my 50 period moving average. I'm using a 50 period moving average to create a, a window basically of understanding of where, which points I should select from. 
So here again, I have my Fibonacci series lines, and you guys can see that 38% uh, was reached very quickly, and then price traveled as high as 61%. Usually, once you get to 61%, which what I have uh, uh, demonstrated you guys on the board, very often that's going to be a reversal point for price. So roughly at this point. So if you're in a position, and if you were able to purchase relatively low, well, this tells you that once it reaches 61%, you want to start looking to exit your position. And that's how I use uh, Fibonacci series. So it's not necessarily for entering, although uh, many books will, will teach you and I guess provide strategies for entering a position. I much prefer to use them for exits. So I will use entries, uh, a sequence of uh, supply demand in combination of some indicators and the Fibonacci will help me to tell me where price can go. Okay, so as you guys have seen through the examples on charts, the 38% is an extremely important number for retracement. The other one, very often that happens quite often, is the 61. So here's my take. If price is at supply level and you're trying to basically sell short for just temporary imbalance in that price, look for 38% retracement as your first target. Drop your stop to a below break even point and therefore you can't lose money on that particular trade. Same thing, if price drops to your 61% retracement, then therefore look for reasons why price would uh, basically want to reverse. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next series.